so as we look to how we're going to match a representation of our community and the board and our senior leadership, we're doing several things. Um, one of which is um, looking at that membership today and where we are have gaps in that membership. And as we have openings in that board structure is to bring in and, and bring people who are representing the community that we serve. Uh, we do have a good representation today on our board, but we can always do more. Many things are going on, but especially the, the event with George Floyd. It changed my look, it changed the world, and probably something that should have happened before, and I'm sorry that it took something that, that vivid to maybe poke us a little bit harder, but if you look at our board of directors or my management team, we're very different today from a, um, from a DEI perspective. We have always been committed to having leadership that reflects our community, and to increase that commitment, we have become more deliberate by putting in place a leadership fellowship program that is focused on growing an increasingly diverse leadership team from within. We talked about providers looking like the communities they serve. I also think leadership of an organization should look like the communities that it serves. And uh, really proud of the fact that in the place that we could probably change the fastest, our board, uh, we now have uh, over 30% of our board members are black. Uh, so it's uh, five of 15, we have three men uh, and two women. Uh, we're also seeing progress with our leadership team. Uh, I would say not fast enough, uh, but we are getting better.